Hey there. So I wanted to share a quick and easy way to force somebody else to make a copy of something that you're sharing with them. Now, this works for Google Docs, Google Sheets, Google Drawings, and Google Slides. So it's important to know that it works for all of those, um, all of those in the G Suite. So I'm just going to say it one more time. Google Docs, which I'm in right now, Google Sheets, Google Drawings, and Google Slides. So I don't know about you, but during this distance learning, I've been sharing a lot of things that I create on my own with my colleagues, with other teachers. And it has either been that I have to make a copy of it on my own and then share that copy with them so they can edit it, right? Or I share something and I make it view only because I don't want them to change my doc. Um, the other thing is that it's just, it's a lot of extra steps, right? So with that, I'm gonna show you a way that you can share a view only of a doc, a sheet, a slides, um, or drawing. And when the person who you're sharing it with opens it on their end, they're going to be prompted to make a copy of it. So they'll have their own copy that they can edit that you didn't have to make for them. And you also don't have to worry about them editing in your copy. So this can be used for colleagues sharing, right? Teachers to teachers um, can be used outside of teaching, but that's what I know best. Um, and it can also be used if you don't currently have um, like a Google Classroom set up or something else set up that's your sharing hub that makes a copy for things of um, like Google Classroom, how it has the make a copy for each student option. This would be a great way if you have students' emails or a way to share a link that you could share something you create and share it so that they then make their own copy and could share back with you. Um, so again, this is just a way to force somebody else to make a copy of what you have so they can have their own editable version on their end. And it's very simple. So what the first thing that you do is you're going to go up to share and you want to make sure that you've set your sharing to that anyone with the link can view. If you're using a school department issued email address, make sure that it's not limited to just people in your school department, um, that it is anyone with the link. Um, if you're only sharing with people in your school department, it doesn't matter. Um, and then you know this copy link, right? So then that shares the link so that anyone who has that link and clicks on it can view your document. Well, so I know a lot of people want to be able to view and have asked about our choice board, which is awesome. And I want to share it with them, but they want to be able to do more than view it. They want their own version so they can go in, delete, edit things, right? So I'm going to click copy. And before I go and email this to them, I actually want to alter the link a little bit. So a lot of people go down here and put name in and share it through that. If you want them to be forced to make a copy, don't do it that way. You're going to go to copy link. All right. And then it's actually right in here. Make a new email. And then when I put the link in, you're going to see, let's make it bigger here. Um, you're going to see the whole URL for it. You're going to find it towards the end where it says the word edit. So I'm going to go from edit and anything after edit, and I'm going to delete it. And then all I have to type in is the word copy. All right. So I'm going to share this with myself um, so that we can, can see how this works. All right, so here it is. So I then have gone through and I have this link here. So if we did it right, when I click on this, because this is the person I shared it with, right? It just happens to be myself. When the person we shared it with clicks on the link, they should be prompted to make a copy of it. Perfect. So the person we shared it with sees this screen, copy document. Would you like to make a copy of grade five choice board? 
Yeah, make a copy. And now they have access to their own copy that they can go in, like this says April 16th, but we all know today is the 17th, 16th was yesterday. Um, and they're able to make the changes that they would like to make this work for them. All right. So again, just to kind of go through it again, if you want to force somebody to make a copy of something that you created in Google Docs, Google Sheets, Google Slides, or Google Drawings, you just have to get the website, the URL, which we talked about is located right up here. Um, and you want to make sure that you set it to link is shareable um, so that anyone with the link can view it, copy the link, and just like we did, we took away edit and everything after it, and then we put in the word copy. That link there, whenever that link is shared, whoever opens it will be prompted to make their own copy, and they'll end up with their own editable copy of the file that you have shared with them. I hope this is helpful.